Hello everyone, welcome back to our sixth installment of our Reflections on Repentance series, going through the Ramam Silchos Tshuva, Laws of Repentance. There is a great philosophical debate, much of which is beyond the scope of our discussion today, which asks, how could it have been that HaKadosh Baruch Hu hardened the heart of Paro, that Hashem took away Paro's free will to do Tshuva? Though there is much of discussion about this that we won't talk about today, the Rambam brings this up in relation to his discussion on free will. To recap, in chapter 5 of Hilchos Tshuva, the Rambam told us of this concept, that everyone does in fact have free will to both do tshuva, to sin, to do mitzvos. All of that is in a person's hands. And now the Rambam in chapter 6 tells us, don't take the example of Paro and think that maybe, in fact, you also don't have free will, just as God took away the free will of Paro. For the Ramam tells us that Paro was a different scenario. It was the exception, and certainly not the rule. Paro was someone who consciously and willingly sinned time and time again, without really having concern about the repercussions or the punishments. However, for all of us today, the Ramam warns, be careful. Don't think that just because there is a source in the Torah that points to someone whose free will is taken from him, that does not apply to us today. Hashem gives us, all of us, the free will to choose and to find the path that we want to travel on. And it is the hope during Aser Sumei Tshuva that we find the straight path that we wish to travel on, hand in hand with the Kaddish Baruch Hu, and that he bless us with a sweet and happy, healthy new year. Chasimah Chasimah Tova, thank you for joining.